Hi, I'm Agnisha Jayaprakash. I am the founder and CEO of Garuda Aerospace, India's most valuable drone startup. Um, today we are here at the Aero India show. Uh, we are very happy to showcase the Vajra drone as well as the uh, Suraj drone, a newly unveiled drone which was uh, uh, unveiled by the ex DRDO chairman as well as the principal scientific advisor to the Rashtra Mantri, uh, Dr. Satish Reddy. Uh, the drone roughly has uh, four to five hours of endurance capabilities. We also have uh, uh, about a uh, Anywhere between uh, uh, 5 to 6 kilograms of payload that we will be able to use as ordinance. Uh, it has uh, 30 meters per second speed. Uh, it also has a ceiling height of about 12,000 feet. We feel that it will be utilized by the DRDO as well as all the forces for strategic surveillance and reconnaissance operations. That is the same purpose that we designed the Suraj drone as well uh, for a lot of advanced reconnaissance. But apart from that, we are also uh, displaying our landmine detector drones which we utilize uh, for the army. We also have the Swamitwa drone um, uh, where we've mapped about 7,000 villages for large scale uh, mapping. And the most, the PSR resistant, the Garuda Kisan drone, which was launched by none other than our brand ambassador and shareholder Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Uh, the Garuda Kisan drone, uh, because of which we were the first ever uh, company to receive the elusive double DGCA certification, which is both. Uh, type certificate as well as the RPTO training certificate. So both manufacturing and training is what Garuda Aerospace has become the first ever company uh, to achieve and that has resulted in us uh, like you know raising the largest ever series A fund round of 22 million dollars. Uh, it is still not yet closed, we still have another 8 more million to go but we are very happy that uh, unit economic focus, asset light, recession proof and a market agnostic business model has enabled uh, uh, Garuda Aerospace to propel ourselves into the investment community to such a great that they feel that we will become the first ever drone unicorn startup out of India by 2024. We are very happy and proud that we will be uh, part of history but at the same time we are not chasing valuation. Our goal is to impact 1 billion lives positively by 2024. We are very confident to do that thanks to the progressive policies of the government. Talk about the, 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 the... See, uh, when you take a look at the B-2 bomber, you know, it's a large aircraft. Uh, it's of course a stealth bomber, it can be utilized for a lot of different applications. But for us, we wanted to build a smaller version of a drone which fits all the aerodynamic designs, which ensures that it will accomplish the tasks that our forces in the Army, the officials in the Navy and Air Force want. Uh, this was also discussed with a lot of members from the Coast Guard, the Indo-Tibetan Border Patrol, uh, uh, the Assam Rifles, the NDRF. Uh, of course, the CISF and the CRPF as well. It has a very nice uh, four to five uh, payload, uh, four, four to five kilograms of payload capacity um, of ordnance dropping that is possible. But more so, what we feel is that it requires a very short runway to take off. Uh, this will hopefully help us to get this drone on, uh, like you know, aircraft carrier vessels as well. Uh, we feel that it is in the stage of development where by the end of the year you will definitely see Vajra doing a, a bunch of test flights. That has a very anti-stealth design and we feel that um, this is one of the marvels of Garuda Aerospace. It also went viral uh, having over 4 million views across all social media platforms. Very happy with the design. We are very certain that uh, over the next couple of years we will have a lot of technology partnerships. You know this already has a partnership with um, Lockheed Martin. The, uh, the guys who are next to us in the stall, uh, world's leading players in defense and aerospace. We also have good partnerships with Elbit Systems, Cognizant Technology. So our focus is to build a lot of software and firmware that can be integrated with the hardware of the drone. Uh, we, our focus is on Atmanir Bar Bharat and being a Make in India drone startup. But beyond which, I feel that there is a lot of scope for collaboration and joint development partnerships. That is what we are focused towards and Garuda will definitely succeed at that. So you, you spoke about uh, partnerships with Lockheed and other uh, international brands as well. Uh, with regards to Lockheed, what kind of partnership do you have? So uh, we are utilizing Lockheed CDL uh, system software which will enable uh, us to capture data and also process the data live. It will also help us with uh, areas where you do not have much of uh, communications uh, for us to relay information back to base. This is very crucial, especially in areas which are very remote. And I believe that uh, this is just a start of a great relationship between Garuda Aerospace uh, as well as Lockheed Martin. Uh, we are a hotbed for a lot of uh, uh, major defense guys 
from uh, from an offset manufacturing uh, obligation perspective we also feel that the capabilities that we have showcased from a manufacturing as well as a technology perspective has enabled uh, big companies to come to garuda aerospace and uh, uh, look for partnerships so we believe that this is the game of drones has just begun we feel uh, very proud to be part of this uh, uh, mammoth and transformational change we are certain to contribute towards india becoming a global drone hub by 2030 okay but in terms of indigenous content uh, you know, the uh, drone uh, what share of I mean, what percentage would that so i believe that when it comes to vajna about uh, 65 to 70 percentage of the drone is indigenously sourced we have a lot of amazing partnerships uh, for parts and composite manufacturing uh, companies who are helping us to do that but more so i feel that uh, over a period of time we can definitely strive for a 80 to 85% of indigenous content we're still maybe about 4 to 5 years away from it being completely 100% i can't promise that but uh, we're working towards that and what's and what's been the response like from the forces for i mean i believe you saw yourself of how many people had uh, come into our store like uh, and even after a defense expo we were completely swamped with inquiries of when this bird will be ready to fly we wanted to fly immediately but you know our focus is on precision and perfection we will only fly the drones when it is at excellent condition and um, it has to be too good to refuse and that is what our goal is okay. and uh, we could talk about cost per unit uh, we haven't uh, come up to a number on that yet because there is still a lot of uh, development that needs to be done uh, what type of payload what type of uh, Uh, operations whether a stealth mode is required it is a jet engine what type of engine that we're going to be utilizing all of that is still up uh, in the air and we need to stabilize it and then uh, roughly in about 3 to 4 months time we should have a tentative price on what we will be placing this unit and of course when it is in volume the price always differs right uh, but uh, that's one thing that i want to ask you so the payload also what's the maximum payload that right now we are able to carry only about 4 to 5 kilograms of payload uh, apart from your uh, already installed um, cameras which are lidar as well as um, high zoom cameras which will be able to detect uh, and also penetrate foliage because it's very important in uh, northeastern regions uh, and mountainous regions as well where there is a lot of thickets so our goal now is to not focus too much on heavy payload capabilities but ensuring that the drone is able to fly longer and that's always a uh, give and take when it comes to uh, wanting us to focus on payload or increase the endurance if you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel